This is me trying my first ever Cork 7. But before we see if I landed, let's go back in time. All right, I'm gonna do Cork 7 today. You guys, 100, 100 likes. Or you guys haven't hit 100 likes, but I know you guys were gonna hit 100 likes on the previous video, so. My plan to learn Cork 7 was to first warm up and get comfortable on the jump, and then watch my friend Ray do it, and lastly, just send it. So, without further ado, we got straight into warming up. Yeah, you can do this with four five easy. Yeah, sir. Just warm up jumps and then you do it. Yeah, I'll do switch one. And then when I get comfy, get enough air, you know, I'll send it. As you heard, Ray was going to try his first ever switch cork five in park. So of course I had to film him. Oh you good? I'm gonna try it again and land it. So let's hope he lands it. So close. <laughs> Cork seven attempts. Ray, my friend, is gonna do it right now. He's one landed it once before. He's gonna try it today. First time. He got it! That was so cool. Now that I had warmed up, I had to visualize the Cork 720 and get tips from Ray to prepare for this scary trick. This helped reduce my fear a lot. If you don't know what this trick is, it's basically two full rotations on the axis, just like Ray's doing it right here. So now that I had finally prepared myself, it was time to send it. Hey. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Let's go! After a while, I was actually getting some results. And this happened. I finally landed the Cork 7. I was super stoked and happy about this. But, of course, I wanted to get it a bit cleaner and a bit better, so I went back up and tried it one more time. As you can see, I failed quite bad. I ended up over-rotating onto my back, and yes, it hurt a bit, but after a while, the pain was fully away and I was fine. Because of that, I was done with that trick for the day. Anyways, let's try to get 200 likes on this video for the second time ever. Subscribe to see me land this trick better. And lastly, comment down below. I'll reply. Peace.